with you every morning. Listen online at WCTCAM.com. Jersey moves fast. Join the show that keeps you one step ahead. Jersey Central with Burt Barron on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. 849, back with another couple minutes with Gary Gelman, the official photographer of the New Jersey Hall of Fame. Uh, you can check out the website to anytime you like, of course, at njhalloffame.org. And uh, much more than just the induction ceremony and everything that goes along with that. Uh, Gary, the Mobile Museum uh, recently uh, with a milestone, 300,000 visitors uh, to the Mobile Museum. That's really cool. Yeah, over the last several years, the Mobile Museum, which actually is a tractor trailer that has been outfitted with New Jersey Hall of Fame memorabilia, travels throughout New Jersey, and they've got 300,000 visitors so far. In, in the Mobile Museum, there's photos and images. There's some Edison memorabilia, Bon Jovi's jacket from the New Jersey tour. Um, Bruce Springsteen's um, images are there. Uh, it's a wonderful event, not only for businesses, but for schools as well. Sure. So if there are any teachers that are listening or administrators who would like, especially in fourth grade, I think in New Jersey they do uh, New Jersey in fourth grade. It's a great way to learn about the great people from New Jersey. And it's a, it's a, um, a classroom on wheels. Uh, you know, it's a great way for people to learn more about the great people that came from the state. It's very well done. And uh, anytime I see the uh, the Mobile Museum Park, that I, I go, I've seen it a million times, Gary. I always have to go back in because I think it's so cool to just kind of uh, learn a little bit about our history. And I love the interactive map where you get to see, you know, where the Hall of Famers in New Jersey have come from. Uh, it's really right. just a great experience. And like Gary said, if you're a teacher administrator, hey, go to that website and find out about having the uh, Mobile Museum uh, come to your school or institution. All right, let's move yeah. on to performing arts, uh, Gary. This is the category that everybody loves because it's, you know, TV and movie stars and rock stars. And uh, you want to talk about some of the names uh, on the list this year? Sure. You know, the local guy, David Copperville, I just heard that he was one of the most highest paid entertainers of, I don't know if it was 2015 or 2016. The magician, you know, straight from uh, Highland Park, um, the touching area. Right. So David Copperville. Ed Harris is on that list. Ray Liotta is on the list. Actor Kevin Spacey. And also singer Connie Francis is on that list. So a lot of great ones in the performing arts. Kelly Ripa, who's been seen uh, on TV over the last 15, 20 years now, yeah. whether it be with Michael or with Regis, but Kelly Ripa, South Jersey girl. George Benson, 10-time nominated um, musician, uh, jazz artist is on that list. The, the, the woman who made the shoes are made for walking, Nancy Sinatra, <laughs> um, is on that list. Um, Jason Alexander famous actor, and Wyclef Jean from the Fugees, uh, based out of Newark, is on that list as well. Yep, it's impressive list. Performing arts, yeah. So, And you know what's interesting about the event itself, which is going to be in May at, in the convention hall, is that previous honorees and current honorees usually perform. Not all of them, not always guaranteed, but it's ironic. I bring up Bruce Springsteen one more time, but I think Bruce has performed more than any other artist uh, in the Hall of Fame. Bon Jovi has performed, Southside Johnny, who has not been inducted into the Hall of Fame, has performed as well. That's right. So uh, David David Cassidy was there a few years ago, and NJ Pack uh, performed. So uh, so not only do you get to see all these people and you go on the red carpet and, and in most cases meet all of the uh, the those who are winning, but uh, you get to um, hear them perform and hear them speak. And the Hall of Fame has a, a YouTube channel where you can hear all the presentations, not only that have been done to introduce the honoree, but also the honoree themselves. So the, um, the museum lives on um, YouTube as well. Okay, just a couple minutes to go, Gary. The uh, public sure. service category where people that have been involved in public service and, and other things, a couple names jump out at me for this one. Uh, Molly sure. Pitcher, again, rest area, you should automatically be in. <laughs> and and, uh, uh, for, and uh, Antonin Scalia, too, was on the list. Yeah, you know, Bo Antonin born in Trenton, he left soon after, but Antonin Scalia, a uh, famous New Jerseyan who recently passed, is on that list. Aaron Burr is on the list. How did Aaron Burr get on the list? <laughs> I don't the third know. third vice president under Jefferson, and anyone who's seen the Hamilton show or movie, you know who he is. Right. Um, Paul Faulkner, uh, the, Fed, the Fed chair, is on the list, uh, based out of Cape May, came out of Cape May. Clara Moss, a nurse who actually was a, a part of the uh, Army, uh, is on that list as well. Richard Stockton who was in the Continental Congress and then became a U.S. Senator from New Jersey. He was born in Princeton, and he died in Princeton. I believe he's buried in Princeton as well. So, Great New Jersey. Um, yeah, he never leaves, just like the rest of us. <laughs> right, never leaves. right, exactly. And uh, the last category, Gary, uh, the sports uh, category, where you look at some of the great yeah. athletes that have come out of New Jersey. Three names of some all-time greats that jump out at me. Uh, Oral Hershiser, of course, uh, the great pitcher for the Dodgers. 
uh, from New Jersey. Uh, also, Rick Barry, the basketball player who, uh, until last year, led the only Golden State Warriors team to the NBA title. And uh, who could forget the Bayonne bleeder, Chuck Wepner? He's got to be in there, too. <laughs> yeah. But what about Rosie, what is this? Rosie Greer, Phil Sims? I mean, Great and, Giants. And the, new, the newest one, the gold medalist, Carly Lloyd, based out of South Jersey. So sure. there's, a lot, um, there's a lot of great ones. So everyone, when they see this list, they're really like, wait, he's from New Jersey or she's from New Jersey? <laughs> well, in some cases, um, in all cases, they have some presence here in New Jersey, and we're honored to, to know them, and we hope uh, – People go out there and vote on the website, and then uh, we can then have a big party in May. It's yeah. May 8th at Convention Hall in Asbury Park. Excellent. So the uh, website uh, will have the list very soon for people to go and cast their yep. votes, right? You got it, yes. All right. And when do we find out uh, who's going to be part of the class, Gary? Do you know that? Towards the, yeah. Towards the middle of December is when they make the decision. So there's no specific date. But we know ending the voting will end sometime around just after Thanksgiving. So. All right. Well, we'll definitely have you back uh, once we get everybody who's in there. And uh, one glaring omission, uh, a guy whose initials are BB. I don't see him on here. Maybe <laughs> next year, Gary. Maybe. Wait, I don't know. You, you failed to mention I was an official photographer for the New Jersey Broadcasters, and I photographed you in your Hall of Fame. I know. So I know. Him. Call, call, You're a Mr. Hall of Famer. Call me selfish, Gary. I want to be the first guy who's in both. Maybe I'll get there someday. I don't know. I don't know. Always a pleasure, my friend. We'll talk to you again soon, all right? All right. Thanks a lot. All right, Gary Gelman, official photographer of the New Jersey Hall of Fame.